Hello! In this video lesson, I'm going to be doing an example of a more difficult empirical formula problem. The word difficult is relative. Some people might not think it's that much more difficult. So, what we have is 10.15 grams of a compound, and it contains phosphorus and oxygen, and the total phosphorus content has a mass of 4.3, yeah, 4.433 grams. phosphorus. Um, I need to find what the mass of oxygen is. They don't directly tell me what it is, but they do tell me my total mass is 10.150 grams. So if I just subtract the mass of the phosphorus, 4.433 grams, that should give me the mass of the other element, in this case the oxygen. Good thing I have my calculator, which every chemistry student needs to be successful in chemistry. 10 Point one five minus four point four three three gives me five point seven one seven grams of oxygen. This question is asking for finding the empirical formula, which is the lowest whole number mole ratio. So, in order to have the lowest whole number mole ratio, I need to be in moles. So I'm going to convert it to moles. Um, for every one mole of phosphorus, I'm going to have thirty point one grams. Of phosphorus. I'm going to solve that out, typing in 4.433 times 1 divided by 30.1, and that's going to give me 0.147 moles of phosphorus. I'm going to do the same thing with oxygen. Multiply it by 1 mole divided by 16 grams, which is the molar mass of oxygen. Alright, so we got 5. Point 717 divided by 16 equals 0.357 moles of oxygen. All right, I want to find the lowest whole number mole ratio. In order to do that, I have to divide by my lowest answer. In this case, 0.147 looks like my lowest answer, so I divide both of uh, my moles by my, my lowest answer. Phosphorus, I get 1. And when I type in 0.357 divided by 0.147, I get about 2.43, which is really close to 2.5. But we don't have whole numbers here. This is a whole number, but 2.5 is not. So we need to multiply both these number by a number that will make it a whole number. So I usually start with 2. And if both of these turn out to be a whole number after multiplying them by 2, I'm done. If not, then I'll try 3. If that doesn't work, I'll try multiplying by 4. All right, so 1 times 2 is 2, so that's 2 phosphoruses. And then uh, 2.5 times 2 is 5 for every 5 oxygens. So really, my empirical formula is going to be P2O5. And that is how you do a more difficult empirical formula problem.